Hello and welcome to your Microsoft Flight Sim Private Jet experience. Today I have the pleasure of taking you across the wonderful country of New Zealand. We'll be flying across the North Island today from the capital city of Wellington over to Gisborne, a smaller city further north. Kickstarting from Wellington, we'll head almost parallel to the coast, straight to Gisborne, a wonderful approach there. Kicking it off from Wellington International Airport, heading over to Gisborne in the wonderful Honda Jet, which is a quirky, very light business jet you can fly in Microsoft Flight Sim. Without further delay, let us get into it. <laughs> Good afternoon from the capital city of New Zealand, Wellington, which also happens to be the world's windiest capital city. With a metropolitan population of around half a million, it's a great place to start today's flight. Now we aren't in the main city today, in fact we're southeast here at Wellington International Airport, a beautiful airport. Today we won't be using the main terminal you can see here, we will be using the private FBO for this domestic flight, so let's head over there. The great thing about travelling on a private jet is that there's no need to really go through duty free or any sort of extended security procedures, especially for a domestic flight of this kind. You can basically breeze through in 10 minutes or so and we did after our short car ride in. As soon as we got there they started pulling out the Honda jet out of the hangar. I don't know how they did this, it's got to be some sort of magic undeveloped software I'm not aware of yet, but the aircraft miraculously pushed itself out of the hangar without making any noise. The Honda Jet we'll be using today is a relatively new aircraft being manufactured, this one in 2018. For those of you that don't know the Honda Jet, which first flew in 2015 and was developed in the decades before in sworn secrecy, is an ultralight business jet that is quickly becoming the favourite of businessmen and women across the world. And I am so lucky to be able to fly this up to Gisborne today. So let's get our bags loaded up and right onto this aircraft where I can sit back, have a cup of tea and relax. So as I was sitting in the aircraft getting comfortable, the pilot in command was going around and pre-flighting the aircraft, making sure everything is kept in tip-top condition, ready for my flight up to Gisborne, checking the gears, making sure there's no cuts or tears in the tyre, and they're not flat of course, we've still got to check for that sort of thing on the plane, making sure all vents and ports were clear, nothing on the static vent, and making sure all surfaces are clear, including the leading edge of the wing. This is an extensive part of getting your aircraft ready to fly. It's got to be done and it happens before every flight. Just as good. Let's go fly, shall we?
Within minutes, the engines have been started and we are taxiing to the runway for departure. Very lucky me, the airport was dead quiet today which meant it was only a two or three minute long taxi before we were on the runway and ready to take off. I'll speak to you at cruise. Okay, so I may have lied to you, I did tell you I'd speak to you in cruise, but here we are on a visual approach to runway 32 at Gisborne Airport. It has been a stunning flight so far, 100% smooth all throughout, despite some of the hills we are flying over. Once you get above those clouds, the air was incredibly stable. Now I did tell you there was something very special about Gisborne Airport. So I want you to keep your eye out the window as we land and watch what comes up on the runway for a brief second or so. I will be telling you at the end, but it's certainly a unique selling point of Gisborne Airport, if you were going to buy this airport of course. I'm very happy with the Honda Jet, it's very smooth here in the back. Let's see how the landing goes, I will see you guys on the ground. Welcome to Gisborne, it's time to say goodbye to our virtual plane here in Microsoft Flight Simulator today. The landing wasn't too good, I think I got distracted uh, with the railway line that was crossing the runway in all honesty. Guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this Microsoft Flight Sim experience, they're always such fun to make. It is very weird uh, talking about Microsoft Float Sim as if I was really there, but it has been an absolute blast. We're here at the wonderful Gisborne Airport, 
which was modelled in the most recent World Update 12, so feel free to check it out for yourselves. A little bit about Gisborne, it's got a very small population, I believe it's around 40,000, and it has got very strong links uh, to the natives of New Zealand, of course the Maori. So if it's somewhere you want to head in northern New Zealand, I would recommend it. It's a very stunning place to fly into. On that note guys, have a fantastic day, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Here's the railway line, I'll see you around, have a good one, bye bye.